The greatest adventure of my life is about to begin, was what I thought as I packed up and moved to LA seven years ago this week. Little did I know the real adventure wouldn't start for another three and a half years. I've known Mary Kate since she was about 13 years old, always smart and an independent thinker and a feminist in her own right. She is beautiful and chooses to have fun in innovative ways and is definitely an original. And Daniel, whom I've just met recently, I feel as if I have known for a lifetime, for he is just a perfect partner for our Mary Kate. When he met Mary Kate, he immediately found her an enigma, one to be solved, which was fascinating to him. He found her to be just as friendly, entertaining, nerdy, and all around amazing. He challenged me every day to be the best version of who I am, nothing more, nothing less. You've never loved me in spite of my flaws, you love me because of them. You challenge me to stand up for myself and to see my own value. I have listened to you tell the story of how we met at least 462 times. You're much better at telling it than I am. At this rate, we will break one million by our 50th anniversary. Uh, we met on the internet. OK Cupid. A couple of my friends had said, everybody signed up for OK Cupid. You should sign up for OK Cupid. OK, fine, I'll do it. It was before Tinder and kind of the other phone-based like dating apps. And OK Cupid had started a new feature on the app where it would notify you if somebody was in your vicinity that you had like a high match probability with. He turned off the GPS locator because I was like, that's really weird. I don't want people to know where I am. But then my phone pinged as I was passing Paramount. Like, oh, it's still on. Why is it still on? People can find me. And it's like, oh, you have a match. And it was this adorable, goofy looking dude. And I was like, he's super cute. I was like, wow, this beautiful person that seems super cool. Like, we just matched. So we set up a date. She was 45 minutes late to it. Just saying. I was 45 minutes late, 42 minutes late, because there was a premiere in Hollywood and the traffic was insane. And I'm always late anyway. I've been dating like four, four and a half months. And I turned her and I say, I'm gonna marry you one day. We're gonna have babies, we're gonna have grandbabies, and you're stuck with me forever. And she goes, I know. And so that's technically when we, when I told her we were getting married, told her we were getting married. Um, yeah. As you stumbled out of your Jeep 45 minutes late <laughs> to our first date, I knew nothing would ever be the same again. You were perfect. You're smart, funny, beautiful, nerdy, opinionated, strong. On top of all of that, goodness radiates from you in a way that makes me better than I ever thought possible. In every other relationship, there was always a but, you say. <laughs> this would work out buts, but there was no but. I knew in some sort of strange celestial way that this was it. Clear and terrifying from day one. And you knew it too, scarier than a ghost, you said on one post that you left in my house. <laughs> Because nothing is scarier than caring about another person the way I care about you. As we continue our adventure, I promise to be your sword and shield, your confidant, your shoulder to cry on, and your friend to celebrate with. I promise to go to every midnight screening of every Star Wars movie <laughs> they ever make. I promise you are stuck with me forever and that I will love you for all of time and through all of space. I promise that someday soon we'll get two TVs so we can both play video games at the same time. <laughs> Mary Kate, I love you in a way there's no words to describe. And I vow to you right now that I will never stop giving and growing that love. I now, before God and his family, pronounce you husband and wife. When I finally met Daniel in March of this year, it took me about 34 seconds to realize that I had vastly underestimated just how well suited you guys are. Everything I could hope for for Daniel. Interesting people. 
video games and comics and bikes and all things nerdy. This guy gets it. Video games, watching The Matrix, watching Mystery Science Theater 3000 all the time, playing The Matrix video game, this game called Legend of Zelda, James Bond Jr., The Hobbit, hit the jackpot. Nothing short of amazing. There really are so many. One day we'll know that our souls were to be intertwined infinitely. I remember the first time that Baxter told me about MC. He said, and I quote, I've met the most amazing girl and she is far too good looking for me. Every other week, we would reconnect and he would tell me more and more about this amazing MC. And I think we can all agree that they are beyond perfect for each other. Shores, as you climb mountains above One day you'll feel my hand in yours As we walk this adventure in love I'm a protective friend and a bunch of people ended up coming back to my place and I found myself sitting next to Daniel and I was like, okay, let me get to know this fella <laughs> and he was just awesome like just so awesome, just such good people. I remember just grabbing her and being like, that guy is in love with you. And I don't know if he knows it, and I don't know if you know it, I don't know if anybody knows it, but it's real, it is so true. And the fact that I can see and feel how tangible that connection is, that's real, that's everything, that's what love is. God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortunes and rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. And may you get to heaven a half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Gotta make it to the world.